Hi, we'd like to welcome you to Wild Wednesday Live presented by Quilt Craft and Sew Mall. I'm Beth, I'm your host today um, from Fabric Chicks. Um, we've got a few things we're gonna do differently today. Um, first of all, um, if I just want a couple of housekeeping things. I wanna remind you that, um, hi Sue, how are you? Um, I wanna remind you that if you ever lose connection or if we lose connection because we're streaming and the vendors we're interviewing, we're all streaming from our homes or our shops. So sometimes we don't have a good connection. If that happens, re-sign on, we'll re-sign on, we'll reconnect. If it's really bad, we'll reschedule whoever we're interviewing. Um, but mostly, um, you know, just bear with us because we're all working from our, our, our homes and our shops. Um, welcome everybody. Oh, look, at, I don't even have to do roll call. You guys are so well trained. You're just putting it in there where you're from. Um, that's so exciting. We've got people from all over Arizona, Wisconsin. Um, this is part of what I love about this um, way of of us being able to connect is that we have been able to not just do shows, but we can also do um, those of you who can't make the shows because you're um, too far away, you can still join us and you can still learn all the latest and greatest things that um, our vendors are providing. Um, so today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to um, bring Raylene on and Raylene is going to tell you about um, some new things and some changes we've got going on with our Wild Wednesday. Hey, Raylene. Hey, Beth. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm excited with what we're going to tell them today and what we're sharing with them. I, I'm excited too. I think it's going to be fabulous and I think they're going to be excited once they hear it. Absolutely. So guys, um, you know, when we started this like way back in November, can you believe we've been doing this almost a year yeah. now, but we, we really didn't know what we were doing, what we wanted to do, where we wanted to take the show. I mean, Beth and I had an idea and we just kind of ran with it, which is what we do. Um, but now we've had some time and we know that there's some things we could be doing a little bit differently that would make it better. And one of those is, we have now set up our own Facebook page separate from Quilt Craft Sew and Quilt Craft Sew Mall. And our Facebook page is called Wild Wednesday Live. Couldn't be even easy. Can we make it even easier? So what you, we need you guys to do, you've got a few things you need to do. So first of all, you need to go to that new Facebook page, Wild Wednesday Live, and then you need to like and follow the new page. Starting next week, the 28th, we will be coming to you live from that page. And we know it might take a couple weeks to get everybody trained, but we're gonna be putting posts on the old page to remind you that you should be coming to the new page. So you wanna like and follow. Then on the very first post that's on the page, you wanna click on join the fan club. Um, that is gonna collect your email information so that we can also do email, uh, you know, newsletters, information out to you occasionally. So we have another way of connecting with you. We can remind you about different things. We can give you extra information on the shows, just whatever we decide to do. Now, here's what we're doing to incentivize you to get signed up on the fan club and get over there to the page. From now till next Tuesday, so for a week, if you sign up on the fan club, that is gonna enter you into a drawing and we're gonna give away a $50 gift certificate for Quilters Haven for our website. And we'll announce the winner of that $50 certificate on next Wednesday's show. But all you have to do is just sign up on the email list. Uh, Ruth is keeping a list of all those so that we can get everybody's name in the hat for the drawing. Okay, I have to look at my notes because I don't want to leave anything out here. So be sure also that, you know, once we uh, get all these dates on that Facebook page, you'll be able to set a reminder so that you always remember, you get a little reminder on your phone when it's almost time for us to go live so that you're never late to the show. And uh, also we have another new feature for those of you who actually do make it to the live shows. And I'm super excited about this. And I don't even know if Beth knows about this yet because I I'm, just like, I'm always the last to know. I know she is, she <laughs> is. But uh, on the show program, when you go to the shows, whether you pick up a, a printed program or you download it from the QR code off the Quilt Craft Sew page, um, when it gives you the big list of vendors, all of our Wild Wednesday mall vendors are now gonna be in pink letters. So you can find everybody quick and easy. They'll also still have their signs in their booth. For those of you who've gone, you know, we'll have the featured vendor Wild Wednesday Live with our regular, you know, white, pink and black logo to help you find them easy. But by seeing them in the program, you can kind of plan your strategy ahead of time. So that'll be starting in the Sacramento show in just a couple of weeks. 
And the last thing here, I'm, again, I'm checking all my notes because I'm so excited. I just didn't want to forget anything. What's a oh, lot to cover? Share, 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 share. Um, I'm all, I was so excited because we, um, as of just right before the show, we had 19 people <laughs> following the new page. And Ruth, our webmaster, I was all jazzed and I go, I'm so excited we have 19 people. She says, Raylene, you know, we need to get that to 20,000. So it got to me, it got me thinking though of another way to do a contest. Cause we know you guys love contests. You love door prizes. So here's what we're going to do. For, from now until we hit a thousand, which is really a more realistic number than the twenty thousand. Every time we hit a hundred, I'm going to do a little door prize. So I don't know what that's going to be. I'm going to hit up some of our other vendors and Beth and get some more donations. But uh, so every time we hit a hundred, a door prize. We get to two hundred, a door prize, all the way up to a thousand. So there's some more incentive to help share this and get your friends like the page. So I think that's it, Beth. Perfect. Okay. I do have a question from Kathleen because, you know, um, the girls that stalk me, they join, a lot of them joined yesterday. To the I know. Up. I saw them. Well, they want to make sure that they're going to be included in the yeah. drawing. Yes, they they want to make sure they didn't join too early. No, no. It, it's everybody that joins through the 27th. Yeah, I wouldn't do that to them. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Kathleen, you don't have to worry. We always have your back. All right. Yes. Okay, so that's it. So enjoy the show, everybody. I'm going to get out of the way and let Beth take over. And Raylene, if they have any yeah. questions, you're going to come back for the question and yeah. answer. So hold off your questions if you're confused about the fan club or if you have any questions about anything. Um, we haven't said the code word yet, ladies, for the drawings <laughs> for today. You're just going to have to hold on a minute. <laughs> I get so excited. I know, I, and I'm so excited. Adele just comment count count her in. She'll be she'll be donating door prizes. So we got lots of fun stuff that's in the works. So you're gonna want to join the fan club so that you can can keep up on everything that's happening. Mm -hmm. You want to be a VIP? Yes, for sure, for sure. All right, perfect. Um, all right, so we want to also remind you that if you ever miss one of these live events, that you can always join our, and we've changed the YouTube, haven't we, Raylene? Oh, sorry, he can't cut you yet. Did what, we do what now? <laughs> <laughs> you saw that? I'm like, cut me off, cut me off. What, what was the, oh yeah, that's right. I knew I was going to forget something. Yes, we did change the name of the YouTube channel also to Wild Wednesday Live. Again, trying to make it as easy as possible for you guys to find us in all the different spots. And be sure that you hit the subscribe button when you when you go to the YouTube channel so that you never ever miss an episode. You know, we all lose track of time. There's lots going on, you know, this and that, and kids getting ready to go back to school, whatever. And we would hate right. for you to miss something, especially if we're giving something away. Right, for sure. <laughs> okay, so Raylene, they're asking for the links. So, so maybe um, in a little bit, because we don't want you girls to go sign up right now and miss what nope. we're going to be doing today, but we will post all the links so we make it super yes. easy for you. Because I know if it's me, if I have one step too many, I'm going to get sidetracked and forget to do it. So right. we'll put we'll, all those links right. in there. In the they're comments. saying they can't find the link right now, but we'll, don't worry, girls. Well, we'll see, put they it They shouldn't in. be going there now anywhere. I know. Focus. They're multitasking. Focus. <laughs> focus. focus, girls. Focus. <laughs> Okay, perfect. All right. So we'll see you in a little bit. Thank okay, you so bye. much. Okay, so I want to remind you um, that we do have a show coming up. Our next show is Sacramento, actually Roseville. Um, you can get your tickets in advance so you don't have to stand in line. Um, everything you need is right at your fingertips. Just go to the Quilt Craft Soma, which is scrolling at the bottom of the, um, the screen. And if you're having problems, like Janice said, she couldn't add, just um, we'll work on that and get that taken care of. Um, all right, so I'm going to just jump right in. We have um, Teresa and probably Anna from um, The Big Mat Rotary Cutting Surface. So, so let's let them just take it away and get started teaching us something. Hey, Anna, how are you? Hi, Beth. Thank Good you to see you. Up. All right, we're going to turn it right over to you so you can tell us all about who you are, where you're from, and everything that's so exciting that the ladies aren't going to be able to live without. Yes, sounds good. Sounds <laughs> good. Okay, hi, everyone. I'm going to talk slow and go slow so that I can make my 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. My name's Anna. 
we're the big matte rotary cutting surface. I know a lot of you have seen us before and maybe a lot of you haven't. So I'm gonna do our traditional demo and we'll talk about our um, prizes on our Wild Wednesday Live. And please join Wild Wednesday Live and share, 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 share Wild Wednesday Live. Like I said, our mats are made out of PVC, just like the water pipe. They will not warp, they will not buckle while standing up, and they do not smell. The fabric doesn't move when you're cutting on our mats because you get traction right away. We don't get fiber batting or dust down in the mat, but you will get the raised cut marks. When you get the raised cut marks, you're going to take the mat eraser and use it like an ice scraper and you're going to smooth the cut marks right back down to the smooth surface. We also have our stabilizer. Our stabilizer we use to keep your ruler from moving when you're cutting on your fabric. You can put it on the mat any direction you'd like, slightly push towards the stabilizer and cut your fabric. You can also use it on your ruler. You can put it on the ruler, use it like a T-square, butt it up against the mat, slightly push forward and cut your fabric. It is a double-sided sticky tape. It does wear out at different times depending on how you use it. When that happens, you're gonna take it off and you'll put another one back on. We do sell the six pack of adhesive tape on our uh, website and our Etsy site. And that is the big mat rotary cutting surface. The uh, mat that's going to be on special on our Etsy site, big rotary cutting mat two will be our 40 by 72. It's going to be 25% off until Friday the 30th at midnight. So get those orders in. And our first giveaway is going to be our 24 by 48 cutting mat. It will come with our mat eraser, the stabilizer, and the six pack of adhesive tape. Our second prize is going to be the 12 by 18. It will come with the handle and knob combo, the six pack of tape, stabilizer, and the mat eraser. So good luck to whoever wins any of these prizes. Don't forget to join our Facebook group. On our Facebook group, um, you can watch the demonstrations again. You can see where we're at. It's going to have our schedule of where we're going to be next. I know we're going to be in Sacramento next. Um, so see you there. Come say hi to us if you're in Sacramento. And the website that you can order any of our mats and our uh, specials that we have going on is on Etsy on Big Rotary, Big Rotary Cutting Mat 2. Thank you, thank you for having us. I know it's pretty short. Um, that's all we got for today. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, Beth. Thank you, Ray. Oh. Thank you. Anna, I just have a quick question. I know we're going to do questions and answers at the end, but um, you've got some great deals going on right now. If the ladies were to contact you and order it today, could you deliver it to the Roseville show for them? Or is yes. that because that yes. would save them? I know. I know I've got some of my ladies on there and they're going to be asking those questions because they'll be seeing you in Roseville. Yes, definitely. We, Perfect. we, we can do almost anything for our customers. And if they need a custom cut. And if you need a custom cut before we get there, um, we just let us know. We'll custom cut it here and we'll take it to you. Perfect. Perfect. So yeah, they do do custom sizes. So ladies, just give them a call and let them know what you want or go to their, um, their you, you, don't, you don't do a Facebook page, you do. We have our Facebook, uh -huh, our Facebook if you have any, um, you know, questions, you can always uh, contact us on our website, call Perfect. us on the phone. Um, the specials that we run are on the Etsy uh, site, but 
don't hesitate. If you want to call us over the phone and we take the order on a piece of paper, we can do that also. Perfect. Okay, Kathleen, give them a phone call. All right. Thank you so much, Anna, and we'll see you at the end of the show. Yes. Thank All you. right. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, so I just want to remind you once again, go online, not right now, but after um, this show, go online and get your tickets for um, for the Roseville Sacramento show, because I know there's a lot of you that are going to that. Um, get your tickets in advance. You're not going to want to wait and stand in the lines, because usually the lines are pretty large in Sacramento. Um, and as a reminder, go to YouTube, subscribe um, so that you can be notified and you can rewatch any of these demos. I love that everything's being recorded on. Um, well, I don't really love that it's being recorded on YouTube. It means I have to watch everything I say. But I love that if you buy these tools, a lot of times at the shows, you buy them and then you get home and you don't remember what you're going to do with them. So you can always go back to the YouTube and um, do a little search and find the vendor that you're looking for so you can watch um, the demo again and refresh your memory. Um, all right. So I'm going to um, we're going to bring Amy on with um, Diamond Art. Um, Amy, are you there? Our master. Oh, it's an empty chair. Oh, there you are. Hey, how are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. I'm so excited. I've already sold a ton of the journals and things that I brought home from the Colorado show. My awesome. my customers are loving it. Awesome. Yes. Yes. The rotate right. different stuff. Perfect. <laughs> perfect. All right. I'm going to turn it right over to you so you can teach us how to do it and refresh our memory. All right. Sounds good. Well, today I'm doing the journal. Um, it's kind of like a great gift. So basically you can either get, you can make the journal cover, which takes about an hour to an hour and a half to make, or you can actually give it as a kit, um, a kit for um, a gift, um, which they can just make the fronts of the journals. And so they're just really fun. They come with your tool set, your beads, and of course your journal. Now the journals are not a refillable um, they are, a lot of them are just the plain paper. And I did this because a lot of people like to draw, they like to jot down notes. Um, they like to put their passwords in there and kind of put it away, um, things like that. So they're basically, there's about 60 pages in each journal. Um, if you decide that, Hey, maybe I want to be done with it and I want a new journal, you can actually cut this side off and actually put it into a five by seven frame also, just to kind of give you an idea of something fun that you can do also. Um, so kind of just the gist of the journal. Now, as you've seen before of how to do the journals, it's very easy to some of, some of you that are new on here. Um, your kit comes with, um, uh, with, um, with the beads like this. They do not come in the Ziploc bags. And what I like to do is when I first start, I like to just snip the corner off. That way I'm just putting some beads in here. And the reason why I like to cut the corner off is because if I, if I get done, what I do is I just put a scotch tape over the corner and that way the beads don't go anywhere. And if I forgot one, I can pull that scotch tape back and just pour a little bit more back in, into the tray. And so right now I'm doing package number six. And so each package has a number on it and you just follow the number to the number on the journal. It doesn't come with the, with like, like the bigger kits where that has the, um, the key on it. That's what I'm trying to say. And so I'm just doing the number sixes and I pull this back. So you pull it back to wherever you're working to, because otherwise you stick to it. And then you lose all your arm hairs, as I like to say. And so when you first start, there's a tube at the end. And what you do is you pull the sheet back and you press this in and you fill that tube up with wax. Now, this is what helps pick the beads up out of the tray. Make sure you put this back over. A lot of people rip this off and just keep it exposed. And then they complain that it gets dried out. It's not really dried out. It's just all the stuff in the air that gets on top of it. So if you keep this over top of it, you will prevent that from happening where it doesn't work as well. And so if you shake the tray, like it, there's little grooves in here, well, they'll actually start lining up. And all I'm doing is I'm just picking them up and I'm just putting them on the sixes and they just stick. Now, if I put it over here, let's say, um, where it's not as sticky, um, and actually it flipped over, but you can flip it over. It'll move. You can move it to the number six. The 
journal is not sticky here, but it's only sticky where the letters and the numbers are. Now these are the small beads and the kit also comes, the journals come with bigger size beads. Now on the bigger size beads, the pen does pick up these beads. You just may only be able to pick up a few before you actually have to see how it's not picking it up again. So I just need to put some more wax into it. So I might be able to pick one or two up with this thing of wax, but then I might have to re-wax it again just to incense. And I usually sometimes use my fingers too. Some people on the big beads just use their fingers also. Now when you're completely done with the design, what I like to do with the journals is I like to spray the clear acrylic over top of it. Now this clear acrylic um, will seal the beads into place and it'll take out the way the stickiness around the beads. Um, so that way, I think our power just kind of went out. It's really hot here. Um, so yeah, so you're just spraying a clear acrylic um, and I use the gloss or the semi-gloss, which kind of keeps, still keeps the beads a little shiny and shimmery looking to for it. These have kind of been around the block. They've been out at some flea markets that I did over um, last year or so. But here's a couple of just different designs that you guys could see here. Um, just kind of a, just a gist. And the journals are 20% off online right now. Um, the code is journal. And so if you use that um, code, um, you will get 20% off today. Um, and my giveaway is this journal right here. So that's the giveaway for today. Um, I'm also, um, I'm very low on product right now just because the shows have been so great and it was so nice to see everybody in Denver. And yes, we will be in Sacramento. Um, that's about the only show we're able to, to do this year, um, besides Denver, unfortunately, because we have prior commitments. Um, but I just want to let everybody know that this Friday, um, we have a shipment coming in and the bookmarks, the partials, the sketch lights, um, some other things will be back available online. Um, and I know Beth does carry them in her store and she will have the new trees that just came out. Um, she should have those hopefully next week because she's a great person to, that likes to um, do her um, Wednesdays and Friday sales on, on the kits also. Also, if I do not have a kit available, please check out our wholesalers. Our wholesalers um, are listed on our website. Feel free to give them a call, look on their website, see if they have them on their website. Um, just due to the shows and the pandemic is still, we're still trying to catch up with the Joneses and trying to get kits available for everybody. And, um, so basically the journals, like I said, make a great gift for people and it's just an easy way to do one up real quick and give it as a gift. Or like I said, give the kit as a gift. So that's about it. Any questions or... I know, I guess questions are till the very end. Um, well, that's okay. Um, I have one quick question. Um, will you have the new journals in Sacramento, which I think you will. I think you've got a whole new shipment coming in later this month. Yeah, um, I have, like I said, the bookmarks and the new partial kits, which the new partial kits are, we've seen a lot of them. I have a couple of new designs coming out. I do have some new designs coming out in August. Usually what I do um, when I get new designs is I send them out to my wholesalers first, kind of let them get the first pick of them. And then um, I will then sell them at the stores or online. So, but the, I know the gnomes are really popular. I know Beth had some. Um, I know that sh there's a lot of customers that are waiting for the trees um, that, that your customers also, which you will have probably next week in the mail, so. Right, right. Well, and just just from my personal experience, I love doing the partials because they're so quick and easy. Um, I can actually get a journal cover done in an evening while I watch the kids wash the dishes and I drink my glass of wine or two. <laughs> uh, it's definitely, uh, it's one of those things that's very therapeutic. You can just put those little beads on um, and it just kind of relaxes your brain at the end of the, the day. Right. They're very fun, very fun. All right, perfect. Well, hang on. We'll we'll bring you back in a little bit um, when we do the questions and answers. Um, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah.
All right. Okay. So I just want to remind everybody that um, we do have several um, goodies and giveaways today. We have a 22 by 48 cutting mat from the Big Mat Rotary Cutting Surface from Anna and Teresa. We have a grab bag of helpful items from Bag Mat also. It's an extra door prize. Um, a journal kit from Amy and an L bag kit from Linda McGee, who is going to be up next, and a grab bag of goodies from Quilters Haven. So you're going to want to enter the drawing, but be sure, be sure and only enter the drawing once, and be sure that you only want to enter the drawing if you're going to actually come back later this evening and check to see if you won, because um, we're not going to track you down. We're all too busy to track you down now that we're busy with shows and everything's crazy. So if you want to win, um, you're going to just need to type in right now, fan club. So fan club, we want to get that in your head so you remember to join the fan club. Um, but the, it's super easy. All you have to do is type in fan club and you'll be entered in the drawing. Come back to this same site about six o'clock this evening and the winners will be posted. Um, all right. So I'm going to turn it right over to Linda McGee because she always has a lot of information, more information than you can retain in one, one setting. That's why we love having our vendors come back um, so that we can, we can relearn what we've, we've been taught. Are you there, Linda? I'm here. It's good Thank to see you. It's been a while. It's good to see you. It's, it has been a while, hasn't it? Yes, yes. There. And I sent a Beth a message and they said, I don't understand this. It was the wrong Beth. Uh-oh. It happens sometimes. <laughs> Technology. It's smarter than we are. What are you going to do? Yes. Yes. All right, I'm going to turn it right over to you because I know you, you've got a lot to share with us. Yes. Yes. All right. You know, we'll see you in a bit. Uh, thank you. Over the past year, well, I think we started in about September, I announced a challenge. And some people have already asked me if I'm going to do a challenge this year. And yes, I am. And I think it's going to be with the L bag. So that's the bag I'm showing you now. The pattern does have a bag, a handbag in it. And the handbag is this size. So it's a good size bag. It may be looking bigger here, but just to because of the camera. Um, there's a little space on pockets to put some kind of embellishment. You can quilt on your long arm. You can do just about anything you want to. Uh, but there's also a tote size, or it's a duffel bag size. So it's as big as the screen is. So if you're getting ready to go back to school and you got to carry all this stuff, whether it's sports or you're just traveling, this is a great size that you can fit underneath a um, the seat on airlines or in the stuffing in the corner of the car. Now, sometimes I'll quilt on a long. I won't quilt. I have my friend quilt on the long arm for me. This one was quilted with foam, and so it's maintaining its shape just a little bit better. But I showed this style back to one of my friends and she says, Linda, that's a chevron she bag. They have one exactly like that. And I said, you're kidding. And um, sure enough, looked it up on the web and chevron she does have a bag this style, but the end is put together differently than this one. This one is real easy. There's, there's an inset piece. So you actually have eight corners because there's four on both ends to have to inset, and that's just something I don't want to do. This actually started off um, using a template from Linda Winter. I think she was on last week, but she has a template that's this shape, and there are multiple sizes of them. This is the big size, and she just came out with a smaller size. But both of those two sizes, this is the template that's used to create that bag. She used it to create boxes. And this point actually forms the bottom. Uh, so the, the bottom goes to, you'll stitch this side, you'll stitch two pieces together following this side, and then you go and stitch all the way around there. And you don't have any deep corners to have to deal with. It's just super duper easy. Well, I have the, the full-fledged pattern and it has both sizes. There is a cardboard or a pattern piece in here, but I promise you're going to want to get the template because I'm coming out with two other patterns using this template that are dis 
distinctively different. They don't look, none of the patterns look the same. Of course, I do have some fun zipper techniques in each, in each one of them. So I'll have those out in the fall. But let me give you just a couple of tips as far as the sewing goes. Um, when you're working with fabric and you cut on the crosswise grain, a lot of times it stretches. So I like to put a stabilizer on the fabric, and that's this white strip that you see. It's underneath where the zipper's going to be, so nobody will ever see it. But it prevents the fabric from stretching so that you don't get a roly-poly look with your zipper. Now, if you haven't put it in a zipper the way I do, and I've got several different ways I do it, depending upon which um, project I'm working with, I think you can see the backside better. I stitch using an all-purpose foot. I'm using a heavier zipper so the foot can feel that zipper coil. So I stitch with the all-purpose foot all the way down and then roll the fabric back. And you decide how much of the zipper tape that you want to expose. That's sort of a design feature. And then stitch with a decorative stitch. If you'll Take a look on the back side. You can see the decorative stitch, and that's holding the zipper tape flat, whereas the other side that hasn't been stitched kind of flips up. But this is one of the easiest zipper techniques you'll ever do. I like to have outside pockets and also inside pockets. And the outside zipper is a zipper pocket. And when you stitch that on with your webbing, your webbing is going to go right here and around over to that side. You're actually stitching the pockets on the inside. So it's really quick. It looks more involved than it is, but it's really quick to go together. Now, I do have, if you're a zipper person, this fabric has zippers on it. And if you're a zipper person and you want a kit like this, I do have four or five of these kits left from an event that I had recently. So if you're interested in the small size that's in the pattern, I have these kits available. They have been quilted on a long arm. If you would prefer the, the brown side to show as the outside, you can do this because that's double face quilted fabric. This is a great project to work with when you're learning your long arm because you're going to cut the pieces up. They're going to be folds and, and pockets and everything else. So nobody's going to see any of those little problem areas that you're probably making a big fuss over. Nobody's ever going to see those because in a, in a bag, it's going to be covered up with something. Now, our special today is I do have several kits online. And you can get the kit for the small or the regular size or the kit for the duffel bag, or you can get both. But when you buy a pattern, I mean, when you buy the kit, you will get uh, the pattern free. So that's, that's a good discount. The pattern's a $12 pattern. What the kit has in it are the swivel hooks and extra pulls that, and these are pretty pulls. It's not your basic pulls to go along with the webbing. This particular webbing, excuse me, this is a zipper. This zipper happens to be the pink coloration. You also get the webbing to go along with it and a zipper for the secret pocket on the inside. There's, and just to give you an idea of some of the, the colors of what, this is the pink. I also have rainbow. This has been a really good one. If you want black but not real black, this is called gunmetal. So that pretty much goes along with everything. I just got in today, so it's not shown on the web, but I do have silver or nickel and also gold. And the appropriate pieces will go with it. Now, if you want to order from the, the web, the easiest place to find it is to go on our website at geese.com, go to shop, and then do webinar specials. So I just put everything in there. I have the templates on sale. They're 20% off. The pattern, you're going to get free when you order the kit. If you order multiples, I'll probably throw something else in there with it. Um, most of the kits online uh, have black, brown, or maybe purple in them. 
But just so you know, I have all sorts of colors to work with. Where's my little? I've got pur purple. That's that's looking more navy there. But there's also navy. There's burgundy, forest green, black, red, brown, and both sizes. The inch and a half I normally put with the larger bag. The inch, this size I put with a smaller bag. It just seems a little bit more appropriate. And I also got in some royal. I've had requests for another blue. So if you don't want the color that's there, it, when you sign out just in the notes, say, I would prefer to have purple. I would prefer to have brown. And, and I'll exchange that. But also let, um, and if, if you want a different color of webbing, not webbing, zipper, just let me know that too. So I'll give you lots of opportunities to play and make this your own. Now, another color. I know there's a lot of pink gals out there. I have pink yardage. And the reason we're doing yardage is because we're making, I show you how to make the zipper open both ways. So let's go back to here. See, this is a double zipper. And this particular one has the purple and the zipper can open both directions. And it actually opens really wide for you to get in inside and see everything that's in there. I didn't get the secret pocket in this one yet, uh, but you can see there are other pockets, lots of pockets, keep you organized. So um, I know I have a tendency to talk too much and I wanted to make sure I didn't go over. So it looks like I have a little bit more time. So I think what I'll do is talk a little bit more about the techniques. When you put um, your zipper in, see, I have, I have stitched my zipper in, but I haven't put the slider on yet. And the reason for that is I don't want to have to sew around this big hunk and slider. These are number fives. And um, sometimes your press of foot hits them, particularly if you have a, a wider space machine or a wider foot. And it's just easier to sew this on if the slider isn't on. Now's the time we would put the slider on. So what I do is, let's see if I can do this up in the air. Now this isn't the, the color I would be using with this one, but you can still see what you do is slide, open the zipper just a little bit, place the slider in the groove. This is the curved end. The flat end is the bottom. And then put the other side in, give it a little tug. And I might have to go down to the table just to get some leverage. And then just zip it up. Sometimes it works better if you trim a quarter of an inch off the side that you're getting ready to insert. I got too much stuff on the table. Here we go. So see, I've slipped it. There's a, about an eighth of an inch I was off. If I had trimmed an eighth of an inch off that side before I started, then I would be even. Now, this is okay. When you're stitching, you're going to be fine. Um, but I want to make sure the other zipper comes up to meet this. And sometimes I get it in in the first try, and sometimes I have to do it a second time. That's just the nature of the beast. But um, the, the zippers really do make the project as well as the sliders. Isn't that a fun slider? That's a, This is the antique brass on the cream color. There's also a nickel on the cream. So there's lots of colors for you to choose from. Okie dokie. Let's just take a look at them. Here's a pink. I showed you these. I showed you that. I may, I may be ahead of the game. Maybe there's a question that somebody has they want to ask me about. 
Uh, Linda, they just said, keep talking. They're learning so much from you. Uh, great <laughs> zipper sewing tips. Sometimes she has trouble putting the pull on. Um, and no, Linda, you do not talk too much. Uh, <laughs> they obviously don't know you. <laughs> okay, don't be giving away my secrets, bro. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, I'll go ahead and put it on the other end and we'll see if I can get it in the first shot. To get the other one going, what I'm going to do is pull, I'm going to trim, I have some scissors around here. Here's a rotary cutter. I'm going to trim about a quarter of an inch off one side. Now, I don't know if that's the side I should have done for this one. We'll find out in just a second. So I'm going to slide. I keep practicing this, maybe I can do it in the air. I can slide the zipper into the, the, the pull. Oh, I think I'm going to get it. Ah, I did it. Okay. You made now it you look can, so easy. Um, I need to take one of the ends off and, and adjust it. Can you see how that's kind of twisted? And it mm -hmm. needs to be even. Um, so I did, I'll just have to take one of the ends off and then put it back on again. So that won't be a big deal. Um, but it, it does go, it goes on. You just don't think about it. And I use the table and my two fingers. I lay two fingers here and then I can lay it on the table and I can slide it on better. Now, just so you know, I've done that a couple of times before today, too. And that probably makes a difference. Um, let's see here. I'll give you uh, a, just something to think about as far as the challenge goes. And maybe you can help me out and send me what some message of what you'd like to do. There, as I mentioned, I have three patterns that use this template. And they each use a different zipper technique. Um, do you want me to say that you use the template and you can make one of the three patterns? Or do you want to let it be a mystery and um, let's... Um, I think I probably ought to have a choice of patterns but it, it, they will all use the same style. So this is for a challenge to be shown at the Reno Kids show again? Yeah, I, I mentioned something about it on a newsletter that I sent out last week. And by the way, I do a newsletter. It's not real regular. Uh, so you're not inundated with a lot of mail. Um, I think this this month I might have only sent out one, so I'll need to get another one out in the next few days or so. It's not a special day or anything, but if you would like to be on the newsletter, go to the website, which is geese.com, G-H-E-E-S.com, and just sign up. Um, and we will, that's how you stay up and get more details with me. I'll be on Wild Wednesdays occasionally, but I'm not going to be, uh, on it every every week, um, but that you can stay in touch with me. Things I'm doing when the new patterns come out, when the rules come out for the challenge. But anyway, I sent a newsletter out last week, and Opal almost immediately said, "Is this your challenge for the Reno show next year?" So there's a good possibility I've already right. obligated myself to that. So I need y'all to get you have. Going. I think you have. All right, we'll okay. be looking for more details for it. Okay. So think of some kind of embellishing to go on it or some kind of crazy quilting or something. But there we'll have some kind of rule besides just using the basic pattern. Perfect. You will need okay. to use the zipper too. Right. Well, that's that's good. That forces everybody into learning how to use a zipper and how to put a zipper in. Because I hear it's really easy. I haven't tried it yet. Well, you know, um, if I'm coming to the Reno show next year, I'm sure you can sign up for one of the classes. Oh, true story. True story. <laughs> In my spare time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 
Okay. So, so they, your special today is they get a free pattern with your zipper or web kit and they don't need a code. They just need to go to your website and order that. Yes. They also have the templates, the winter design templates are on sale. I believe they're 15 or 20% off. I just went ahead and put it on there that that's just easier than having to remember a code. Uh, but everything shown, and there's some other specials that are going on on the website. Don't ask me. I kind of forget about Make them. Make it up so, as you go. Yeah. But you're the ones that are finding out about, you get the pattern free. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. And I do have a question from Sherry. She wants to know what is a number three zipper and a number five sports zipper? Okay. A number three zipper in the easiest way is just to show you. Uh, a number three is the size that you've been able to purchase at any store for your pants and skirts or the back of dresses in the past. This is a number three. You, It's about an eighth of an inch wide. This is a number five. So you might have heard them called like a Vislon zipper or a sport zipper. It's about a quarter of an inch wide is how wide the uh, co the uh, coil is. And it's a, it's, um, it's for jackets and sportswear. It's better for a larger size bag to have a larger size zipper. So that should show you. Can you see this black yeah. one? Yeah. Yep. That okay. makes sense. Mm -hmm. I also have number, I think it's number eight, maybe it's number 10 in black on the web. If you're making a duffel bag for the guys in in your family, some lady called the other day and she was going to make one with the saints on it for her husband uh, for traveling. And she got the black, the heavier black zipper. And the pool's a little bit bigger for them to hold on to, too. Perfect. So you, you can make this you know, non-denominational, depending upon the fabric you choose. Perfect. Okay. Well, thank you for, thank you for being our, uh, a special last minute impromptu switch your doctor's appointment um, guest. We always love having you. You always, uh, you're one of the wealth of knowledge teachers who have been around since the beginning of my sewing industry um, world. Really? Well, you're sweet to say that, but I know she's buttering me up for something, y'all. I'm going to find out sooner or later, I guess. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. So let's just welcome all of our guests back on because I know we've got a lot of questions. We're doing things a lot oh. differently. Um, we're, we've got yes, some sir. questions on for Raylene. Um all right, so now is your time for all of you who, viewers out there. Um, type in any questions you have for any of the vendors. And um, and if you have any questions for Raylene about the new website, everything's going to be moving over to the new um, Facebook page, the new YouTube page, every all that good stuff. Okay, uh, I th uh, Sherry says she bought the caddy bag. Thank you. I think Linda's frozen. Okay, the caddy bag. Yes, yep. that's a that's a big tote. Yeah. And the secret pockets, the way the secret pockets put in that bag is similar to the way it's put in this one. It's a different shape. Perfect. Um, okay, and then for um, Amy, are the dot journal? Uh, will the dot journals be in Phoenix? Are you going to the Phoenix show? Will the dot journals? What dot. I think the diamond dot. Will the diamond dot journals be in? Yeah. Will you I pop journals in Phoenix? I don't, yeah, I don't usually bring all the styles. I only just bring a select few because there's only, a, I only have like a hundred different designs online of the journals, unfortunately. Okay. So if they saw something specific that they want, they should go to your website and order it. Otherwise, yeah. Yeah, it's what, what you bring to... Yeah, and what you bring to the show will vary, but you will be in Phoenix. I will not be in Phoenix. Okay, well then come to my booth because I'll have them in my booth. Yeah, Beth always brings them to her booth, so if I don't have something, she may have it, and I always tell her to bring all everything she's got because I always 
either run out or I don't have it and she has it. And sometimes, you know, I, I switch things. So I don't always have the same thing either. So, um, yeah. Perfect. Okay. And then, um, and then all of us, all the vendors here, except for Linda, um, will be at the Roseville Sacramento show, right? Yes. 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 Okay. Perfect. And the, Oh, somebody missed the secret code word today when her internet froze. Okay, I'm going to give it to you one more time only because your internet froze and we know that nobody has control over that. We suffer from that all the time. <laughs> it's fan club. Okay, and then, um, so, so Raylene, they're having trouble getting on the new Facebook page. Okay, that's because we're making it way harder than it is, okay, <laughs> which we all tend that's to That's what do. we do. Okay, guys, all you have to do is when you're on just your home Facebook page, wherever you, you know, liked, up at the top of the page, you have a search bar. Just type in Wild Wednesday Live, hit search, and it should pop right up. It's that simple. And then you can like and follow it. So again, you're just going to go on your regular Facebook page at the top of the page, find your search bar, type in Wild Wednesday Live, hit search, and it'll pop right up. So that's different than the page that they're on right now. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So wait till after the show. And then if you still have trouble, you guys can, uh, you can just, you know, put a comment on here. I'll go back and check, but that's really all there is to it. It's really, really simple. Um, I think sometimes we tend to make things harder than it needs to be. And this, this is one of those cases where it's super easy. And then for Brenda, most of us are based on the West Coast. So most of our shows are that, that we attend are on the West Coast. But I do think Amy goes to some on the East Coast and Linda. Don't you guys? Do you I have haven't anything been planned? to the East Coast yet. I want okay. to, but I haven't. Okay, so sorry. We're all kind of based on the West Coast. But you're lucky that you can watch us every Wednesday <laughs> right here and see all the vendors that you might be missing because you um, you live on the East Coast. Um, you know, it's kind of just a geographical thing. And, you know, Beth, I just, you know, to mention, too, this is something Beth and I talked about a lot because when the show started back up, we started getting questions almost immediately. Oh, are you going to stop Wild Wednesday? And our first thought was, oh, well, no way, because we have just as many viewers who are not in our show area as we do in the show area. So this is a chance for us to stay connected with you. And if I can say, well, I'm sorry, I don't mean to be taken up all the time here, but um, I do also just kind of want to give you guys a sneak peek. Um, we're going to be uh, doing something special for the month of October. We're going to call it Christmas in October. So our vendors are all getting their ideas together. And for that month, it's all going to be quick, easy things for holiday gifts. So stocking stuffers and little gift ideas and fun things that you can do in time for Christmas. So keep in mind, you got to make sure that your day, your Wednesdays are free in October. So you get all those great tips for the holidays. Perfect. Perfect. And Sherry, um, Linda is not going to be in Roseville. So if there's anything you need, you just have to order it. Um, and they love Wild Wednesday. They, so many comments. Um, a lot of them are saying that they're they're trying it, even though we've told them not to try it till we're done. Um, they're trying it and it's bringing up the videos. Okay, that's really weird because I just did it and it popped right up. So I'm not sure. Let me, I'm going to try to go ahead and answer some other questions. I do some other questions and let me try it yet again here. Okay, do you girls have any questions for any of our vendors while Raylene tries to work that out? Um, all this techie stuff sometimes is overwhelming, especially for me because I am not a techie person. I will tell you, I, I still have carbon paper that, uh, that we use when we take in quilts. Uh, it, it's just a thing. Techie is not my specialty. Um, okay, Beth, I just did it. And just make sure you're spelling it all right. It's spell out the whole world, the whole word Wednesday, wild Wednesday live, no other characters. I just did it, it popped right up. So again, okay. if you, after the show's over, if you're still having trouble, type in the comments, Raylene, I need help and I'll figure out what's going on. I, you know, if nothing else, I can specifically invite you to the page. So we'll figure it out. No panic. We'll get everybody on there before next week. So perfect. And then um, Linda, um, Diana says you had the win, um, Linda winner template to go with your pattern, right? Yes. 
the pattern has a cardboard in it or you know paper pattern in it but i also on on the website under the webinar specials it has the templates you can get the group of, of both of them together or you could get them individually perfect perfect and then this is for you anna is shipping included with the big mats <laughs> Have you. no volume. Turn your volume up. And I think you're muted probably, Anna. Oh. We're going to get a back room view. Nope, we can't hear you yet. Did you mute your mic? No. Oh. She says shipping is included. I can read lips. <laughs> okay. Okay, Mo, the shipping is, in is included. So you're all set. Okay. And, um, and we want to remind you that when you come into our booths for Adele at Chalk Couture, Raylene at Quilters Haven, or, or mine, Beth, at Fabric Chicks, um, if you come into our booth at Roseville and tell us that you get wild with us on Wednesday, you get a free gift, and it's a different gift at each booth. Yeah, and um, Beth felt all, Beth, uh, Adele said she felt left out at, at uh, Denver, and I think she went out and bought him some candy or something. So. Oh, perfect. <laughs> who, who, could, who doesn't need candy? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, Kathy says she's still not getting it. She tried as a whole one word and as separate words. So Kathy, we'll get back to you and figure out what it is. I'll get her straightened out after the show. Perfect. Okay. So I think that that's it. I think we've answered everybody's questions. If you still have questions and we haven't gotten to them because they kind of pop up all randomly, um, just type it in and Raylene will go back and, and make sure that we get you all covered. Um, all right, so we want to thank you all for joining us, and we're super excited to see what you're going to have to demo next time. Um, you've got a few weeks to get something planned to wow and dazzle us for our next interview. Um, and I think that's it. We'd like to welcome you. Uh, thank you guys all for joining us, and we'll see you next Wednesday. All right. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for coming. All right. Take care. Have a good week. Be creative.